What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big B Productions 100. Today, I'm finna go over some cool stuff on how you can keep your Mac organized and clean and get that extra free space that you're looking for on your hard drive. First things first, look at my trash can. Got a whole bunch of junk in. Now, I know most of you guys, when you click on empty, you probably think that you're finna just empty out your trash can and that's it. No, you're not. Sometimes, those files still leave traces behind that you can't see on your computer. Now, I know some of you guys out there like to use those applications such as Clean My Mac and all of that garbage. Now, Apple really don't recommend that you use those applications because not only it delete files that you ask it to delete, but it sometimes tends to delete files that you don't want to delete. And you may not know about it until it's done and about a week later you're trying to do something and the video don't want to play or something like that. Now, you got to go back in time machine. But it's cool. All right. We're going to slide that over here. Now, again, this is just trash. Another cool way you can keep your Mac organized is by going into your Finder. We're gonna uh, we're gonna open up a new one. All right, cool. There we go. Now we're gonna go into Finder. Now in here, Apple has a new feature that you can use inside Mac OS 10. And if you go up here to the View, go down to Arrange By, you see you have different labels that you can use, such as Name, Kind, Applications, Date Last Open. They add it and all that other good stuff. Now, the one I like is my favorite. I tend to use the one that says label. So it's real cool. Let me show you. We're going we gonna to use label. Now, with labels, all right, this is my, my garage band stuff. We're going to go to my folder, Brian Feaster. This is my main folder. All right. Now, with this, you see I have green, blue, yellow, orange. All right. Now, just for green, that's like for my incomplete stuff, libraries and stuff that I don't really use that often. Uh, we have blue for like keyboard shortcuts I have the Sprint HTC Evo phone so that's my manual my iMac mid 2010 that's what I'm on right now so this is just like basically like for learning like if you're trying to learn something about the Apple generate um, Apple TV or you know stuff like that like basically all my manuals I like to download a lot of manuals offline and just save them to my computer so that's what that's for then we have yellow we have yellow for like my Photoshop my pictures my movies my YouTube F up videos as you can see right there. We have a uh, photograph, whatever, YouTube, more stuff, and iMovie and music and stuff like that. So that's like a lot of the uh, editing that I do when I'm using Photoshop or Aperture or iMovie or something like that. So that's all dealing with editing basically. Then the last one, we have Orange. Now, Orange is for my desktop, my downloads, documents, public sites, passwords, and info and utilities and stuff like that. So I like to keep my stuff organized by using labels. Again, that's one of the cool new features that they have installed inside Mac OS X Lion. So you should start using that just to keep your folders and stuff like that organized. Therefore, you don't have to just create all these folders on your desktop or whatever. And before you know it, you have all of this stuff so cluttered, you don't know what you have. And you got to go up to your spotlight and search for it. So, all right, that's one of the things I wanted to go over. Another thing we're going to go over is cleaning out your trash can. Last but not least. All right, here we go. Now, one of the cool ways you can do it, you can just empty out your trash can if you want to do it. Or you can go up here to secure empty out your trash can. Now, when you click on this, it's going to start emptying out your trash can. But not only that, it's going to find traces of those files that could be possibly left behind that you may not see. And it'll grab it and get rid of it for you. Bam, it's gone. So, therefore... You can look in there and you see that everything that was in there is gone. So there's no traces left behind. Now we had some audio files in there, we had some video files, and we had some pictures that I just downloaded off the internet. Now that is one of the cool ways that you can empty out your trash can. So you know, like I was saying, you know, it's it's not cool to use all those applications such as Clean My Mac and all of that crap. You do you don't you don't really need that. It's ways you can go about doing it yourself. You know therefore you know what you're deleting and everything another cool thing I wanted to go over is okay we're gonna go in brain features now we're gonna go to the library alright cool we're gonna go into library now inside library if you want to clear out your cache and all of that you can do this manually just go inside your library folder there you go your cache or whatever now you can clean all this out you know you don't need an application to do it for you once again now, I know some people don't like to mess around with the library folder because they don't want to go in here and mess up something or something like that because you can go in here and mess around with some stuff and mess up some stuff that's on your Mac but once again if you're not too sure what something is by all means I mean do some research on it such as going on the internet such as Google or YouTube or something like that get your research on you know what I'm saying I tend to do that a lot so that's that 
Now I'm going to go over two applications that I do recommend, and Apple also recommends that you use them as well. All right, here we go. We got App Cleaner and App Zapple. App Zapper. I'm sorry about that. Now the one that Apple recommend that you can use that's real good is App Zapper. Now I know a lot of people out here that's already using App Zapper. So basically, what App Zapper is, we're gonna go to okay. We're gonna go to the applications. Now basically, what App Zapper is, if you don't know. It's an application deleter. It deletes your applications that you don't want anymore. But not not only it delete that application, it'll delete any traces or any files that's left behind that came with that application. So the only thing you have to do is just basically simply just drag that application, drop it. There you go. See, it found another file that came with that application. Click on zap, and then that'll be it. But I don't want to delete that, so we're going to cancel that. So that's basically what App Zapper is. So that's another cool way where you can, can keep your Macintosh HD hard drive or whatever clean and free to get that extra space that you're looking for. That's App Zapper. Now we're going to pop up App Cleaner. Now App Cleaner is basically the same thing, but you don't have to just drag and drop. You can click on the link at the top that says Applications and just click on which ones you don't want and search and basically delete them. Or let's just say if you wanted to get your widgets that you don't use okay those are my widgets I had a lot of widgets in there but I deleted some of those widgets because I didn't use them or anything so we're gonna go over here to the widgets page all right here we go now I know a lot of people that's got like 20 or 30 widgets down here and most of the time I mean come on let's be honest you're not gonna use all those widgets you know I mean address book calculator iCal stuff like that okay cool you can keep but all that other garbage that you got get rid of it so I mean you don't you don't you don't need it so like I said this video is just basically to show you cool ways that you can delete it's files 30. okay you can delete files uh, keep your videos and stuff like that organized more organized so you know what's going on and what's being deleted when you want to delete something all right here we go we got my movies folder we got my movies and external uh, we're gonna close that we got my movies folder again I like to use labels we got iTunes movies in iTunes music in iTunes you know now it even breaks down even further you know you got automatically add to iTunes or whatever and stuff like that so like I said I like to use my labels you know I like to stay organized and I don't know the color thing here I love it so we got like gray green purple blue yellow red and orange now I'm gonna put this in order such as I'm gonna start using my orange for comedy my red would be action my my blue would be drama or something like that and purple would be something else now this is a new file well a new movie that I just downloaded such as species I just downloaded this so if you look here there's no color for it yet but if I click and go down to my label I can add a color but I don't want to do that just yet so like I said, this video is just to show you guys out there that's not organized how to get organized. You know, keep your files and all of that good stuff in order so you know where they are on your computer so you don't be looking for something through Spotlight all the time and you can't find it or you're trying to go into your finder and you're looking for a file that you um, may have downloaded off the internet last week or something like that and you can't find it. So this is just a video for you guys out there that want to become more organized you know what I'm saying organize your Mac and delete the files that's on your Macintosh that's taking up all that extra space that you can be using for something else so I hope you guys like this video please rate comment and subscribe if there's any questions you have for me just leave it down below in the comment box or whatever or hit me up with an inbox it don't matter this your boy Big B Productions 100 holla at you